She's got a lot of spirit, that one. <laughs> She's we got a lot of spirit, has she? Uh, I don't think so. Hey guys, and welcome back to the Let's Play. If you missed part one, I'm going to put a link to it in the description. As I said last time, I will not be fast traveling in this Let's Play. Just to add a bit of depth to it. So what I'm probably going to do right now is steal a horse from the stable. I think I might buy something from this Khajiit caravan first though. Jesus, that's a lot of dirt. Still alive. Could not kill it in one shot. I guess that's what you get for playing on Xbox. Dodging deer there. Right. Well, take a look. Let's see what. Of course you have Skooma. I feel like you should buy some just because I'm a Khajiit. It's gonna help a drug dealer. Help a drug dealer out. Right then. Now I'm gonna steal a horse and ride into the sunset. Who is it we speak to to buy horses again? Need a horse? Talk to my father, Skull Bar. I talk to your dad. What the hell? Uh, is this the only horse in the whole stable? Got the fleetest steeds in all the Skyrim. Apparent. Okay. Oh, but I can see. None of them's older than nine, and the youngest is six. Now the horse I got for sale is seven years old, but in fine health. She's got a lot of spirit, that one. <laughs> She's got a lot of spirit, has she? Uh, I don't think so. She looks a bit older than seven. I expect you can name her she looks a bit tired, actually. Once she's yours. Can I actually buy the horse with him? Now the horse we've taken to calling her Queen Alfsiger. I, th I think she's um. I expect she doesn't seem to be breathing anymore. Don't worry, I'll make use out of your horse. What's funny is he doesn't even notice that his horse is dead. So it looks like I'm going to be running everywhere, which is kind of annoying. Oh, there's a fox. Is that a fox? Yes. Oh, no. There's a goat. Oh, there's a deer there. All the wildlife. Should I actually kill the deer? I actually hit it. Must have lost a bit of that. There you go, got that time. Where's it gone? Camouflaged here. Right. Now. Oh, there it is again. There's actually a lot of deer around here. There's never usually this much deer. Oh, you have to hit him twice next work. Fair enough. Oh, face bomb. That's some nin here. Huh? So we're going to pick that up. Now, if you didn't know, you can find nin root near, near any stream. Anywhere there's water or ponds. It's actually the same thing. If you're playing the Elder Scrolls Online, you'll find it in the same place. I'm actually going to do a video guide on that. Just where to find any alchemy ingredients in the game. Chicken looks a bit lost. Farm's over there, buddy. No, no not that. No, not. No. It's not that way. It's, it's that way. There's more deer. Okay, let's get back on track. I think we're gonna wander near to. Actually, I'm gonna show you this unique bow which you can find around here, because that that's pretty cool, especially if you're a new player. It's not that great, but it's, it's unique, so I'll show it to you. Oh, there's some clay over here. If you have um, Hearthfire installed, 
and you'll find a lot of these clay deposits. They just pop up after you install it. I'm not actually going to mine any yet because I don't need them. Is that an enemy? Yep, I think so. Blimey. Oh dear, I don't know if they were an enemy. Oh well. Nobody cared that I killed them. I'm actually going to take this because we can sell it. Uh, that's pretty useless. Oh, I can wear that actually. Quit. Quit that. So I've got some armor. I'm still in my little cloth robe thing. So that's not good. There's this unique bow I want to... Oh, some... There's a lot of people on the roads, and if you're wondering why, um, it's because they got this mod installed that basically spawns people, so it just looks like you're not the only person playing the game. There's actually other people inhabiting it. Which is sometimes a good thing, sometimes a bad thing, because you get a lot of bandits stacking you too. I'm going to take some mountain flowers. So the cave that you'll need to go in to find this bow is just down here. Now, there are two trolls guiding it, so I'm not so sure how this is going to go. Actually, you know what, before I do that, I'm going to kill this necromancer up here and get the, um, get the stone buff, which is pretty cool. I'm going to try and get a sneak attack on her. She's only a novice mage, but she does put quite a bit of hurt on you if she casts her little spell, which summons all the guardians around her. Oh, there she is, you can see her. See her head. Hopefully she won't see me, because my sneak's not very good at the moment. Don't see me, bitches. Shit, she saw me. Oh, there we go, she's one of the skeletons now. Luckily. I think I might just sell those spell books. It's not really much for me using them. Alright, these skeletons should be quite easy to sneak now. Oh, they just died. Fair enough. Iron shield, don't need that. Lots of iron shields. Right, so let's get this. Reanimate nearby corpses to fight for you. Quite like this animation that you get when you use one of these stones. It shows you like the little star path and everything. If you've actually looked, all these star paths are in the game. If you look in the sky and whatnot. I can level up now, so I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna go for stamina because I think that'll be quite useful just for kiting people. Um, let's see, I want to put that at one point in archery. Let's go. Take that extra 15% damage, thanks. So, okay, now we're going to go back down to that cave. See what's inside it. Sneak mode. So you're going to find two trolls in this cave, which is pretty hard to kill. Nice to get a lucky sneak attack. Shit, I did not want to miss that shot. Oh, some dodging troll now. Let's run back up there and see if we can get shots up. Glad I got that extra stamina now. That's one now. Heavy <laughs> armor. 
If I had more ammo, it actually would not be that bad. I wouldn't have to kite them so much. Oh, he's confused. Still see that. If you're wondering why I'm playing in third person here, it's because I've been playing the Elder Scrolls Online quite a bit. And it's probably better to play an MMO in third person view. Simply because the amount of awareness you have. And the FOV on it's really bad, so when you're in first person, you really can't see anything. Oh. Probably shouldn't really play with this troll. Right, there it is. Troll fat, well that might be useful. Some crafting I'm gonna do later. There's a lot of skulls up here, so I'm guessing they've killed a lot of people. Anyway, the unique bow. It's just on this arrow here. Froki's bow. Let's have a look at it. It's not that great. Considering I have an elven bow, I'm not going to use it. But the enchantment on it is pretty good. It's also quite valuable. Especially early game, it can be pretty useful. And there's also an archery skill book just there. Another level up. Oh, and I got some armor, finally. I might take that sword as well, even though I just want to do archery mainly. Let's have a look. Just remember that I'm not actually going to use that armor, so that's useless. Iron Shield, don't really want to use one handed either. Okay, let's gear out some ingredients around here. There's actually an apothecary satchel just hidden in the corner. So we can get that. Let's just grab the rest of these mushrooms. Why did I take that skull? Yeah. That's pretty much everything. It's three types of mushroom in there, that's pretty good. Yeah. When we get to the next um, crafting station, I'll probably show you, show you some um, crafting. So, we're back out in the world of Skyrim, after getting all that loot from the cave. Just thought we might enjoy this nice little view here of White Run. It's actually a pretty good set out to the castle. I think it was kind of influenced by the Morton Bailey, if anyone knows what that is. So you've got like your village down here on the highest point you've got your keep, which would be protected by like a sort of interior castle. Okay, let's go down the river. Hopefully we'll find some deer as we go down here. That like we can just hunt. And then when we get to a town we'll be able to sell it all. You know when you're walking along in Skyrim and then you get you get detected by something and you have no idea what it is? I'm pretty sure it's probably a mud crab. If any of you played Oblivion, that was literally what Oblivion was. You used to run around and then the combat music would start and you'd be like, what's that? And there's nothing nothing around me at all. And suddenly you you see a health bar pop up and there'd just be a mud crab next to your foot. Just biting you. There we go, much crap. Goodbye. I feel like that little kill animation was wasted on the mud crab, but oh well. of arrows. Can I have my arrow back? No. Oh look, there's a deer. There's a deer over here. Let's see if we can get him for it. Oh, one shot. Fair enough. That extra 15% damage on the bow obviously made quite a bit of difference. It's 
pretty cool. He's like just floating away. Come back there. Okay, there we go. You can float away down the river. Quite funny if he goes off the waterfall. Oh look, there's another deer. Sorry, I killed your mother. Okay. I don't think I can hear from that. There's actually a lot of bandits in this room, so I don't really want to aggro them yet. Let's sneak up this side. Hopefully, I can get close enough to kill someone. There's a lot of people here. I kind of want to pick someone off so I can grab their armor. But you see, someone's already detected me. So I sneak that bad. Let's see if we can kill this person. Oh, really? You'd stop there? I actually do I only have 35 arrows left, so it's probably not a good idea to just fire them aimlessly. Let's jump up here. Oh. She's at the other end, so hopefully we can just get in here. If I was actually a sneaky Khajiit, I would be able to sneak into here pretty easily. But someone could see me. Apparently they don't care. I'm going to take that big ass out. Oh, nope. Someone definitely knows I'm here. I think they're firing at me. Oh, there's someone here who doesn't. Okay, we'll kill this guy. One hit kill, really? This elven bow is literally just one hitting people. Shit. Another sneak attack. Iron armor, yep. This will help out a lot. And let's level up. I think I'm going to put another point in stamina. Keep that going. Uh, do I want archery or do I want wow, I'll go for damage? I'll sort of sneak out in a bit. That's going to be the main thing, I think, just sneaking archery. There's actually an iron ore vein here. God, is there another guy behind me? Shit. Okay, it's pretty pissed off because I killed his friends. Bandit chief, oh my. If he hits me, it'll really hurt. I think someone's actually firing from ah, yeah, I'm gonna fire that on my left as well. Cool, that was lucky. It's lucky the person on that tower was aiming is as bad as mine. So you can Yeah, got her. Finish her off. No, not gonna. Let's see, challenging me to an archery fight. Oh, I got this overpowered elven bow. Bow is just fantastic for me. Okay, there's a little store here. That's quite nice. Just check out that view. Even though I'm getting fired at, it's okay. Just check out the view. You back up. Yeah. Start moving from side to side. Stand still. I don't know if I can even hit her from that. Let's explore down here. Should I loot the bandit camp? I don't know. I, I pretty much killed everyone there, so I might as well. It's probably like a boss level chest up here as well, actually. Let's do that. Took an arrow to the chin. Oh, we have an alchemy table. Pretty good that I check back here. I'm gonna make something in a second. Let's see if there's anything else useful around here. Oh, a hat. 
Dunno. Quite like to wear that hat. Again with the lock picking. Fortify light armor, could just sell that. It's not much use to me at the moment. There we go, boss level chest. Which is actually worth I don't know. Conjuration. Well it's valuable so I can sell it. Apart from that it's not really any use. Take this potion of health. Eight gold, really useful. Oh, another armor tree skill book. It's the third one I've found so far. So if you're watching this and you're playing an archer, should be pretty good for you. Know where all the archery books are now. And that person still see me. Ah, she running. She's disappeared now. Oh, but there she is. She's down there. He does not have a. Oh no, that's a dead body. Sorry. I can't really be asked to go over the other side because there's not that much stuff to really get over there. So, what I'm going to do first, as someone in the YouTube comments on the last video recommended, or pointed out, if we use this item, and where are the ice wraith teeth? There we go. We can actually create a potion of invisibility, which is going to be such good help when we have to sneak past something that I can't fight. So we're just going to create a few of those. What else can I make? I think I might make a poison actually. If I have, I have a skeever's tail. Oh, whoops, I did not mean to eat that. Well, that wasn't good. Don't worry because we can still make a frenzy potion, which is always funny. So, um, okay, what do we have here? We have hag raven feathers. So I think if we use that and yeah, troll fat that we found in the other place, that should make a frenzy potion. Yep, they're always fun to use. Um, what else can we make? We can make a resist poison with this and uh, what else do we need? Is it garlic? I think it is garlic. There we go, resist poison. Now, if we use this nin root with the small antlers, that should give resist. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh shit, now I put the salt part in. Well, if you use that nin root with the small antlers, it should give you a damage health poison, which is pretty good. Uh, I reckon that's enough for now. Because you guys might be getting bored, I don't know. If you enjoy watching me you do alchemy, then just let me know in the comments. I can do some more. Alright, I kind of want to jump down this waterfall now. So, um, we're going to see how that goes. It's quite a drop. On second thoughts, it is quite a big drop. On second thoughts, we're not going to jump down there. We're going to go around here. And then, let's swim across this river and check out what is down the valley. Up to the bus. It's actually getting quite dark now. So hopefully I'll be able to get to a village before it does get really dark. There's a giant's camp down there. I think I'm going to head down here instead.
Who's this? What do you need? Traveler. Need something? Oh, there's some deer over that. Let's go kill these deer. I can actually see where they've gone now. Actually, quite an interesting ruin just down this waterfall. Which I'm gonna release a video on separately because I think it's worth highlighting. But I'll put a link to it in the description or in the video later so you can go check it out if you want. It's just in there. It's quite, quite a nice story to that actually. At the moment, I want to explore a cave. We should go find one of those. A beehive. Take that. There we go. There's a goat. It's a wild goat that just drowned itself. Oh no, it's still alive. Hello, Mr. Goat. Goodbye, Mr. Goat. This doesn't look good. Doesn't look very friendly. Let's uh, get these dragonfly. You can make quite a few good potions with dragonflies, which I can show you later. Oh, he's too fast. I don't even know where he's going. Oh well, let's go in this cave. Let's go see what's happening. Lost Knife Cave. <laughs> 